Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh and his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh is the name of the one true God, and Yahweh Shai is the name of his only begotten son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus. And I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And I want to send salutations to all the Akium throughout the four corners of the earth, exalting the name of Yahweh and his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai in truth and in sincerity all right so this lesson is going to be about the story about these uh as it says right here uh, three u.s army soldiers charged with supplying guns used in chicago shooting now we know for years man that these these people whoever you are have always supplied guns to the ghettos all over america which are in results of lots of murders between Israelites. Jake's killing themselves, right? Drugs overflowing the community. Jake constantly make trying to make a come up off witchcraft by selling it to their own people. And on top of that, when you sell drugs, you have to have territory. So now Jake is fighting over territory that they don't even own. And they're constantly at war with each other. That's why the Bible talks about in the curses of Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, it says, thy eye shall be evil toward thy brother. So you got Israel against themselves, man. They're at war with themselves in their own neighborhoods. And a couple months ago, a child was murdered by a drive-by shooting at a McDonald's drive through and another, and another kid, man, got uh, recently got shot. He didn't die, but he was by a local rapper. That was his son. His son got shot in the car um, that they thought he was in. So these dudes, man, they game banging, they selling drugs, and they're uh, having shootouts with each other. And you got the uh, <coughs> these soldiers who are supplying the, uh, guns to the to the ghettos of uh, Chicago, and we all know Chicago has a a issue with inner city violence. You know, they, they it's known as Chirac, all right? And you got these these people who who uh put guns in the community. You know, they they, they get guns off of unmarked cars with full of guns and ammo, uh trailers on train trailers that uh just so happen to be wide open, the doors wide open with guns and things of that nature. Hey man, hey man, you, they had they had a rapper from Chicago named Rondo Number Nine. How the hell this nigga get a grenade launcher? A grenade launcher with no grenades, but a grenade launcher in the hood. Like, come on, man. Like it's ridiculous. All right, he says uh, three U.S. Army soldiers are accused of supplying guns used in recent shootings and murders in Chicago. All right, it says uh, Jamaris Bronson, Brandon Miller, and Demarcus Adams, which these are all Jakes. These are Jakes. All right, clearly Israelites, niggas. All right, were arrested Tuesday and charged in federal court. All three soldiers were stationed at Fort Campbell along Kentucky Tennessee border. The investigation. <clears throat> into three suspects began after a mass shooting on Chicago's South Side on March 26 as police uh, say five of, of the firearms involved in the shooting were purchased by gun dealers in Tennessee. Detectives soon discovered that Adams, uh, Bronson, and Miller were allegedly the buyers of some of the firearms used in South Side shooting. All right. According to criminal complaint, Miller would allegedly provide guns he purchased in Tennessee and Kentucky to acquaintance acquaintances he knew in Chicago. So, you know, these niggas is probably from that hood on the south side, supplying niggas on the south side, man. All right. It says uh, the three suspects were charged with traffic. Uh, transferring a firearm to an to an out of state residence, providing false information during the purchase of the firearm, and engaging in business with a fire 
a firearms uh, license, wired fraud, conspiracy to commit Title 18 offenses, and laundering of uh, monetary instruments. The suspects, if convicted, could face up to 20 years in prison. Damn. <coughs> so there you have it, man. Jake will do wickedness no matter where. These niggas went into the army. You know, where niggas are supposed to so-called be all they can be. And they chose to be the straight niggas, man. That's that spirit Jake in, man. Jake just with the folly, man. Jake is full of folly. With the folly, no matter what. No matter where they go. And they and all these dumb niggas is probably going to face 20 years in prison, which most likely they are. All right? All because they want to make sure they supply they, they hood to kill the ops. On folks them grave. Man, gone with that bull, man. Jake is just wicked, man. And Jake Jake don't care about their people. They don't care about themselves, man. That's why they have to go, man. That's why the Lord has to return to destroy their asses, man. All right? This is uh, Ecclesiastes because uh, 11 and 16. It says, Error and darkness had their beginning together with sinners. And evil shall wax old with them that glory therein. So that evil going to wax old with you, man. All right? Y'all love error. Y'all love darkness. The scriptures tell you that they love darkness rather than light. Y'all love to be wicked, man. You love to be wrong. And try to live as if it's right. That's how wicked you are. You're in your wickedness. You believe you're doing right. That's how bad you are. Because that's complete wickedness, man. You niggas, you niggas risk that much to get, what, it was a couple of firearm, um, firearms or wi uh, whatever it was. It wasn't a, even a lot. But y'all did that all for what? Just to be wicked. And then you got caught. And now you're going to probably face 20 years in prison. All right? Niggas deserve worse, man. And you're going to get worse. As the scriptures tell you, death by pain. All right? Y'all gonna get punished for all this wickedness y'all doing, man. All right? Because this, this is just ridiculous. Y'all using army guns to supply your own people to kill each other. This is madness. This is uh, Ecclesiasticus 20 and 9. It says, There is a sinner that hath good success in evil things. And there is a a gain that turneth to loss. All right. So even though you have success in your wickedness, you're gonna lose. You're gonna lose in the end, man. All right? Because you're not you're not getting away with anything. See, Jake think they're getting away with something. You're not getting away with anything, man. You're not getting away with nothing. Okay. You getting away with nothing. So if you continue in your wickedness, man, you're going to lose, man. You're, you're a loser. The only way you win is when you serve the Lord, all right, in truth, all right? When you worship the Lord in spirit and in truth, that's when you're a winner, all right? When you endure to the end and get saved, that's when you're a winner. But other than that, man, you're a loser, man, because you're playing for the losing team. You're not in the winner's circle. So repent. For the kingdom of heaven is near. All praises to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai.